What is going on, everybody? All right, so module five is live. Module five, easier a module, less assignments, and so I made this um, for you guys to catch up. Similar to how the third weekend we had kind of an extended version and just less assignments so you could catch up. Same thing, um, so you had two weeks of a lot of assignments, and now this one's uh, less assignments and giving you guys a chance to catch up. So if you haven't completed three or four, make sure you get caught up on those ones and then have fun doing module five, a couple more tool time videos and safety test on our big saw. So we're talking miter saw and table saw. Make sure you pay attention. Um, two of the more dangerous saws in the shop, especially the table saw. Just in general, a table saw is one of the most dangerous tools on any job site or wood shop. And you'll watch the video and you'll hear why. And so as you're taking these tests, make sure on the safety test, you're also for module four if you have to go back up. You won't receive credit unless you receive a perfect score. All right, so you need to get that perfect score to receive credit, it's pass or fail. And so this is just to have on record that you guys have this information, right? It's like signing one of those agreement statements on any app or thing you download on your computer, right? How it's like, I agree, I, I'm gonna be held liable for all this stuff. And so basically that's what's happening with these tests is saying, I know all this information, I agree. And so it's just verifying that you have read the safety regulations. So make sure you get that perfect score so I can give you that 100. These are easy grades for you guys, um, grade boosters, because automatic 100s. I try to give you those assignments. So again, if you just do it, um, you get the perfect score. So make sure you're paying attention to that. Some of you have found some problems where I mess up. I'm not the best speller. I'm not the best typer. And so if you see an error, I apologize, but please let me know as soon as possible and I will be sure to fix it and amend any mistakes on my end. Um, so yeah, as we're doing these tests, if you find a mistake, just reach out to me, let me know. Um, I'm not too proud to admit my mistakes. I understand I mess up. And so thank you for those who have been doing that and reaching out. And so have fun with module five. Um, so attached besides just the miter saw and table saw, uh, I just want you guys to continue thinking after looking at all these tools and stuff, um, if you're going to go and start buying tools, what kind of things you're going to be looking for? And so I have a tool purchase um, list assignment, which I, it's a lot of fun to me. I mean, it's, I'm not actually, you're not spending any real money, but you get to pretend that you get a bunch of money in your pocket and you get to spend it on tools. And so just um, enjoy that assignment, but be thinking through, how do I choose what tools I'm going to buy? What industry do I need? So am I going into? So what kind of tools do I need for that? Because a carpenter's tools looks different than a welder's tools um, because one works with wood, one works with metal. Right, and so with what you wanna do, if, if you had money and you were gonna start out your tool collection, because right now most of you guys, I saw your tool list, you guys don't have many tools, which makes me sad. Um, I grew up having a bunch of tools around the house, so I wish you guys had that opportunity as well. Um, and so as you guys, if you're pursuing a trade, you're gonna need tools. And so I just want you guys to be starting thinking through, what kind of tools do I need and how am I going to choose those tools? And so enjoy that assignment. Look up, look up the cool tools, watch some tool reviews, um, and just find some good stuff. And if you have any questions, if you actually are in real life, are going to go buy some tools, again, I love tools, and I would be happy to give you some recommendations um, if that's something you're looking into. Maybe you're organizing your Christmas list this year. Instead of that new pair of Jordans or a video game, maybe say, hey, can I get a drill or driver? Or, hey, how about a circular saw? That's what I did um, when I was your guys' age, and that's how what started me with Milwaukee. Um, that was just what the first tools I got were. And I kept growing my collection from there. So reach out to me if you have any questions. And again, if I mess something up, let me know. And enjoy module five. It's a shorter module, less work. So for those who are all the way caught up, enjoy the shorter week um, and extra time you have. If you have to catch up, now's the week to do it before we keep moving forward. We're an eighth of the way through the school year. Interims are in there posted. I'm not sure when you will be getting those. But the grades are there. You're an eighth of the way through, which is crazy. Um, before long, for those who are returning in person, in about a month, I'll be seeing you guys, which I'm super pumped about. So enjoy this module and have a great, fantastic week.